Good morning everyone. It's time to visit one of the most beautiful natural secrets of Egypt, the White Desert. So let's get ready and pack up. So we are all packed up and set for the best part of our Egypt trip. Bahari Oasis, here we come. Our car is ready on time to take us to our longest Egyptian road trip. Early morning winter in Cairo gets foggy and roads are jam packed. Thank God we are going in the opposite direction. As we just dropped from the bed into the car, it felt to be a good idea to get a coffee break. And for me, of course, coffee was just an excuse to capture that foggy sunrise. Finally, we have taken the highway and further we go away from Cairo, less the traffic and fog. And the car started running fast through the desert highway. Bahari Oasis is situated at the southwest direction from Cairo at a distance of 370 kilometers and takes around 5 hours of drive to reach. It is the closest oasis from Cairo if compared to Swa and Farafara. So we just reached Bahari Oasis. Our 4x4 is getting prepared. So we'll wait here for some time, have some lunch, and then we'll get into the desert. So our lunch is served. We have some falafel, some bread, some aubergine, some fries some lentil soup it seems. So yeah, let's start. Bon appetit! Today we came to Agabad Off-Road. Tonight we will camp here. So stay tuned for many unique and unexplored locations. And then the most fun part of spending night in the desert. The evenings are magical. Few days completely cut up from the grid feels so good. a lovely dinner and then the fun part of spending time near the fire during cold weather. Yes, it does get cold during winter at night in desert. End of a very eventful day. Good night, sleep tight. The night sky is beautiful and I will spend rest of the night sleeping out near the fire under the starry sky. What an experience. Oh. Good morning everyone. What a lovely view to wake up with. Now that the magical time of the golden hour has passed and I had some spectacular images in my arsenal, I am on one hand super delighted and on other hand super hungry. Breakfast time. So let's go back quickly and find out what is there to eat and on the way also introduce you all to our host of the trip.
and what can be a better way to start the day than this grand breakfast and tea? Let's start. And let me introduce you to our guide and our travel partner for this journey, Hamada from Bahariya Oasis. Hello. Thank you, Hamada, for arranging everything and, and coming up with us. It was a really great experience to start with. You Absolutely. And he's also there to help us in everything and make a memorable trip. What is your name? We didn't get your name. Salah. 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 So he's Salah. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Salah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now let's get dressed and explore the surrounding area. Finally, we reached the beautiful sand dunes of Caravine. We'll spend two nights here and then we'll go to the one and only White Desert and spend another two nights there. Ten years back we had flavor of this but it was really very short. So this time we had to think of our trip to Egypt count and without desert part it's really incomplete. Okay, enough talking, now let's find out what we have around and experience the view of sunset. had an eventful day. It was long and of course tiring, but extremely satisfying. So dinner is served. 
So today we have pasta and chicken. Chicken is my favorite, so I'm very happy today. Mmm, it's really good. After dinner, we sat near the fire and talked about many different things. About life in Baharia, how we found Hamada and many more. It felt so relaxed to be away from all the worries of the material world. Finally, we ended the day in our cozy tents. Good night. So we have wrapped up for today. We had a gala time at Caravan Sand. Next, we'll go to White Desert. But before that, we'll spend one night at Agavat on route. for camp tonight not bad right very good how you say you say like that very very nice wow beautiful <laughs> that's our famous dialogue now spectacular golden light on the Agawat rock formations. Today we have a special menu, barbecue. And finally a surprise, Sala started singing a local song. Having the opportunity to have food like that in the middle of nowhere is a great privilege. What an ambience. Bon appétit! Bon appétit. Wow, beautiful! <laughs> After the full day of trouble, we are very hungry and it feels like we are eating the best food in the world. This teaches how simple things can make a difference in our life. Finally, the end of another eventful day and night under our trillion stars moonlight. Wow, beautiful! Good morning everyone. So after that amazing meal yesterday, everybody is sleeping, but the sky is getting brighter, so I can't sleep. Time to go out and take some pictures. But while I'm getting ready, some funny story. First thing is that this place gets very cold at night. It's a desert, so sometimes people can think that it's, it's hot, but at night it really gets cold. Now it is like, I don't know, three, four degrees probably. So you see, we have like thick blankets and 
also I'm wearing some thick jackets. And as you saw, I've just taken the shoe from inside. The reason behind is that there are some small foxes here. And if I keep the shoe outside, they will take them. <laughs> That's a bit funny. Anyway, time to go and take some picture of the sunrise. See you there. So I just arrived to the photo location. I kind of marked this place yesterday evening to set the composition. Let's see what happens. I'm not expecting a woman like sunrise here anyway because there is not much of a cloud, but today there is a little bit of cloud. It's not very normal here. Let's see what happens. Another thing is that as Piyanka said before, it is Agabat on road. So that's why it is very close to the road actually. That's why it is called Agabat on road. So you can see there are other camps there. There are a lot of wheels, uh, a lot of uh, sign of the tracks. A lot of people walked around. So it's not very easy to find out a fresh sand where there is no footstep and stuff like that. So that's why after a lot of search, I found this place. It looks like a nice composition with a leading line and stuff like that. Let's see what happens. But before that, let me show you the composition. That is the composition. Nice leading line towards the rock formation. The sky is getting colorful. Time to do some shooting. What a beautiful start of the day. No security check, no X-ray scanner. Nobody is trying to stop you from photographing the historic monument to protect it. You don't understand that metaphor? Watch my Cairo video. I've explained it there. Anyway, for now the breakfast is ready. I'm very hungry, so let's jump in. Now it's time to visit the White Desert which is our last stop of this journey and probably the best one. On the way, we found this beautiful oasis. And as always, Sala said, Wow, beautiful! <laughs> Welcome to White Desert, the most beautiful part of this region. But I think my dress is not suiting here. What say? Let me wear something colorful. Voila! That's more like it. Now while our camp is getting ready, let's explore the area. There are some amazing rock formations here, like chicken heads, mushroom, sphinx, and many more. They all are made up of calcified limestone rocks. Another amazing fact about this rock is its temperature. You see, the sand is very hot now, but the stone is ice cool. It's beautiful, right? Now let's go to chicken and mushroom. There is the famous chicken and mushroom. 
that's the most popular rock formation of white desert. It's a bit empty now, but lot of people will come very soon. the day with a beautiful golden hour and finally we are back to our campsite to finish our last dinner of the most magical part of this trip it's completely mind blowing to believe that this was once an ocean really yes yeah and these are all limestones carved and sculptured by the wind and the sand for millions of years. Wow! As always, I woke up very early in the morning which is our last morning in this spectacular location Our Egypt trip is almost coming to an end What an experience and we are extremely happy to share it with you all So while we take a bit of rest here, I would like to explain you a little bit about how to do this trip. There are a lot of package trips out there which shows beautiful picture of the white desert and says that you can do it in one night. And that's a complete lie. What they do is that they start early from Cairo, come here like 15 minutes before the sunset. They go there, camp, do some barbecue and next day early morning they disappear. So you kind of spend two days to visit this place for an hour max. To me, that's a complete waste of time. Cairo is almost six, 700 kilometers away from here. So you kind of in two days drive 14, 1500 kilometers only to spend here an hour, half an hour. It doesn't make any sense. I will strongly recommend that do not get into those traps and spend at least two to three nights here in the white desert and around that will give you the feel of this place, not in that 15 minutes. The sunrise is over, so it's time to say goodbye to the white desert and eventually to Egypt. It takes a lot of effort to make all these videos. We hope we could do justice with these beautiful places with our lenses. It's time to sign off now. Thank you very much for watching. Ciao for now. Hope you have enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed recording it. And if you did so, please give us a thumbs up. It means a lot to us. If you have not done it already, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notification of our upcoming videos.